Hey and welcome. Let's have a look at our UI tabs. So again, the element is found back under third party elements. When you add the tabs on your page, you can see that by default it has two, two tabs. You can set this value right here by increasing it. The maximum number of tabs is set to 10. So let's set that to four. And the next setting you can choose which of those tabs will be active when your page loads. So by default it's the first tab always, but if for example you want it to be the third tab for any reason, and you can see our third tab now will be the active one once your page loads. This is also a useful uh, setting for when editing inside, uh, so when adding content inside your editor, because let's say for example, first let's add some titles, tab 1, tab 2, 3, and number 4. So now we added 4 tabs and let's say we would want to add some content in our first tab. So what we do is we grab an element, in this case a text element, we drop it inside. But this adding these elements requires a reload, so now we are all of a sudden back in our third tab, which is the active tab on load. So we would need to click on the first tab again to start editing this text element. So what you could do, for example, is if you have a large amount of elements you would like to edit inside a specific tab, is you set the active tab to the tab you're editing. And now you can see when it reloads again, we stay in that in that specific tab. Next, let's go over some of these settings. You can align your titles to the left, center, by default or right. You can choose its font size, the color on normal, right here set to a light gray. The active one, blue, you can see the title is blue when it has been selected, clicked upon. And the font weight, this will be depending again on the font family you're using on your team. Then you have a height, which will create a, the height of your tab. There's some horizontal spacing, which will add spacing on the left of your and the right of your title. And this will also enlarge the line. So let's set this one to 50 so you can see what happens. You can see that now we have a lot of more space between each title. The border color, this border color is for the normal uh, tabs. And then the active color is that blue bar, blue animated bar. You can see that is moving around. Okay, don't jump up. Next, uh, the content. You can see that our drag and drop content has a background option. In this case, it's set to a light gray. You can change it to any color you like. The border width, if you do not want the border, you can set this value to one, the border color. Some vertical padding. Vertical padding will increase the spacing between your content and the border of your content. Uh, from the top and the bo bottom it would be because the horizontal padding does the exact same thing but from the sides so it increases spacing from the side let's increase this to 50 for example and then our content should be moving from the left inwards and as you can see if we will increase the same thing from the top let's set it to 50 as well you can see that it moved downwards Next thing, a margin top. So you can also provide a value here which will move your content away from your titles. Now we have 50 pixels of margin between our titles and tabs. It's a bit too much probably, but it doesn't matter. You can do the same thing from the bottom, then there will be some margin added under the content. Now, for responsive reasons, we chose to convert these tabs to an accordion. So what this does is it uh, switches, it removes the tab titles, it actually takes those tab titles and creates accordion titles out of it. So we can do this by viewing and you can define the pixel width 
of a pixel width node, the window width value in pixels to when switch uh, to the accordion uh, display. So if, for example, we set it to 2900, you can see that it is visible right here. And this is how our accordion is looking like. If you really don't, do not want to use this, you can set this to a really low value. But 300 would be the smallest value. But let's set it back to 1900. And let's have a look at those settings. Also for here, you can see that everything is wrapped inside a, what is called an accordion wrap. You can change the background color. Also, if you do not want to have a background color, what you can always do is add transparent in the input field. And then you can see that the background is being removed. You can change the border width, the border color, again, vertical. No, this is for us from the other thing. Sorry, switch to accordion, but you can do change the border color, of course, and you can also change the border radius, which is set to three. If you want it to be some more uh, squared looking uh, tab accordions, then you just set that to one. And now you can see that they are square, the titles. Accordion margin, you can add margin between each title independently, each accordion wrap it would be actually. And then you can see that now we have more spacing between each of the elements. Next thing, let's see what else we have. The border, the wrap, and then of course you have the title color, the normal title color and the active title color, as well as the font size. And if available, you can change the font weight as well. You can also align the accordion title to the left, center, or right by doing it like that. So this is how it would work. So for example, if we would have set this to 900 pixels and we would publish our site. I believe we didn't change the page name. So we just go here. And let's switch that one second here. And let's have a look at our tabs. You can see that they are here. And right now our screen, our preview screen here is set to 1000. We set it to 900. So whenever we set this one to 900, you can see that our, uh, that our does become an accordion, which works like this. But from the moment you set it to 901, they become tabs again.